So Neil, after so much success with the Meetup Mastermind Group, you're now transitioning toward uh, collaborations and a, a new brand for your organization. Tell me about the change and how you're making adjustment to the new economy. Well, Mike, that's a really good question. So there are two reasons. One is uh, that we're no longer really dependent on the Meetup platform and how we market and we train people in our mastermind market. We've got other platforms that we use, including LinkedIn, Alignable, and actually a couple other platforms, including your video streaming uh, technologies and uh, live streaming using Zoom, using YouTube. Uh, and so, you know, even to a limited extent even on Facebook, although it's not the most cost effective for some small business people. So we're really expanding beyond Meetup. That's one thing. Even though we have very good relationships with Meetup and we still use the Meetup platform, uh, you know, we don't want to be dependent on the Meetup platform to do our audience generation. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that we are using a lot of these marketing platforms and reframing how to use them in a better way. So like Meetup, for example, we do webinars in Meetup, unlike a lot of other people. Most people don't even know you can do that and do it appropriately and correctly. Uh, you can combine the power of Meetup with LinkedIn alignable and other platforms that are used for business generation. And we have figured out how to do that in an innovative way. Uh, so again, we are moving away from the Meetup platform, how it's used and it's more innovative. Uh, we are using other platforms in a highly innovative way. Uh, and really, you know, primarily what we do is not so much audience generation, but really fostering a environment, an environment for collaborations to occur, both in how we set up the psychology of the group. The group is very organic. They like to connect with each other and collaborate with very generous and ambitious people who like to work with each other. And so you know, I, I, the, the, in, the environment of the group is way past meetup. It's all about how to create a very exciting, energizing environment for collaborations to thrive and continue to thrive. So now that environment has created what we call wolf packs, which are subsets of the, of the mastermind. We have about 66 people in the mastermind. Each wolf pack has about four to five, six people. And each wolf pack will focus on either a target market to dominate that target market or uh, a, geog a geographical area. So we have the San Jose real estate investment wolf pack. We have the Baltimore uh, business networking wolf pack. Wolf packs around the country now, and uh, the whole idea now is expanded again way past meetup. Now we're going into a city by city uh, and a country by country uh, uh, structure here. So it's way more way more interesting than it has be been before. Now you use the term wolf pack. Uh, how do you look at wolf packs? Well, wolf pack. The modern term for wolf pack is uh, that we. Uh, come together for three reasons. One is that we, uh, we, we, we focus on a particular area or a target market and we want to nurture each other. There are four or five people or six people max in each wolf pack. Uh, so we can focus on a particular target market or a geograph geographical area. You don't even have to be from that geographical area necessarily. You could be outside, but there's at least one person in that area who has a meetup presence and fundamentally, the other people from outside the area also set up meetup groups. So the person in that area benefits from the increased presence that he or she gets. Uh, the people outside the area who join the Wolf Pack can do webinars uh, to that audience in that city using the meetup and the LinkedIn strategies that we set up in that city itself. So it's really combining the skills and the talents and the collaborative uh, willingness of the group to come together and work. Uh, and, uh, so, you know, uh, it, it's a very nurturing group, uh, psychologically, because sometimes you can feel very lone uh, or lonely in your business, but to come into a, a wolf pack where you're taken care of and someone else has got your back and it's focused because it's only four to five people or six people at most, um, that creates a very, uh, good feeling that you have someone, you know, in your back a, in your business, it's the scope of where you start creating friendships that start out as business. And those are the best relationships I've found uh, because people have a more solid concrete structure underneath their relationship. Uh, 
Yeah. I've been in your mastermind group now for over a year, Sunil, yep. and I love it, okay, and, and the people in it. They're so supportive. I want yeah, the, the brightest and the best minds in yep. there with us. Yep. How can I tell someone to learn more about it or get a hold of you, uh, right. you know, to because yep. we, we want, we've got a great foundation, but we just want more and more talent. Yeah, and talent we are looking for certainly, and you know we you know I don't exclude anybody just because they don't have an audience. I look at it mostly as a willingness to commit. I mean, you know, really commit. I mean, it's important uh, to be generous and to be ambitious, but also make sure you, you have good structures that you're taking care of. In other words, your branding, your willingness to do audience generation collaboratively is there. Uh, but it's very easy to start up. It's so easy to start. You, all you have to do is a 15-minute chat with me. There's no charge for it. And if you're serious about joining the mastermind, I can share with you about 15 minutes. Most people make up their mind in about 15 minutes or less uh, if they're going to do it or not. Uh, it's not for everybody, but it's certainly for the people who can see the vision of it, the innovation and the power of it. Uh, and it's probably way better than they usually see that it's way better than what they've already seen in the market out there in terms of helping them generate the market for themselves. Uh, so it takes about 15 minutes to chat on the phone or Zoom and then uh, uh, people make up their mind at that point. Well, compared to other mastermind groups to begin with, it's A, very affordable compared to many other groups, and B, yeah. you also have uh, payment options. So it seems like it really can be accessible to a broad variety of people. Almost anybody who's really committed can find a way to get in uh, and join us. Um, what, what kind of people would you say that may not realize that they're right for a mastermind group, uh, but who would you like to uh, invite to join us? Well, we have a broad swath of people. I mean, a broad range of people from different industries, everything from cryptocurrency now to uh, real estate investment to, uh, to financial planning, true coaching and, you know, executive coaching, life coaching, health coaching, nutritional, um, true healing, and a more, you could say, esoteric. You know, you have an animal psychic now, too. Um, so it's quite a broad range, which is good. That's very powerful to have. So uh, I invite almost anybody in a new industry or an old industry who the primary factor is that you see the power of collaborating with other people. You know, one plus one doesn't equal a two. You, you know, a one plus one other person doesn't equal a two. It equals to 5,000, maybe. Uh, if you're willing to look at it from that point of view and think outside of the normal marketing box, which is not a very friendly box right now, most marketing. No, contrived, confusing. Contrived. Yeah, it can be confusing, contrived, and uh, not very compelling because the art and science of trying to distract someone from all the thousands of distractions is not really an art. And it's not really compelling anymore. It's like trapping, like hunters who go out and trap animals a yeah. little bit. It's kind of like trying to yeah. set up snares to trap people. I know. And, and then, it's not very compelling. It's not very compelling. If you, if you have like a thousand hunters in the same area, you're going right. to look at you and go, yeah, really? <laughs> exactly. Where's the humanity? Where's the people side of this? If you're going to trap me. Give me a good trap. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, a velvet trap. Make me want to be there. Be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, but you know, uh, and I, I joke about this with some people. Yeah, if you, you know, people, some people like being trapped when it's good marketing and uh, they, they know what you're doing and they feel good about it because you're actually providing something of use and it's compelling and it's clear for them. And so, you know, in our mastermind, I'm committed to really teaching people how to do that. If you're interested in learning how to do organic marketing face to face and also digitally how Mike does it in our group as well, then you really should join our group because it's very, uh, I don't see any other group like this. I try to do everything that I've seen other mastermind groups completely differently from them uh, because I've been in the expert industry since 1991. Uh, I've seen a lot of, a lot of training programs, mastermind programs, um, and uh, I've seen how the industry has changed. The industry is very, very organic. When I started in 1991, everybody kind of knew each other. We all wanted to work with each other. It was really, truly a healing experience working in the, in the expert industry. It's no longer like that, I don't feel. And, you know, and, and of course, not everybody's bad. 
It's just that it's grown to be too commercial, too contrived, and too crowded. So if you want to be distinct from everybody else, and you want to be organic, and you want to reach people face-to-face -face and be effective, be driving a large audience to you, then, you know, collaborations you know, done in a smart, effective way across different uh, kinds of markets is a smart way to do. I don't think I would have met my case, actually, if it hadn't been for the mastermind or having the idea of the mastermind, right? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an opportunity to really meet some diverse people in different industries. So you can find new, fresh markets that you never even thought of. Uh, so we have the cryptocurrency people working with the real estate people, which you would think on hindsight that that should really happen a lot more, but it's not. Uh, you see financial people working with the healing people. And you would think, ah, on hindsight, a lot of healers get very uh, high paying clients. So it kind of makes sense, right? No, no, it makes a lot of sense. A lot um, of sense. And, yeah. and, and, you know, because I think you're, you just really nailed on something that uh, a lot of people can't see the synapse connections, you know, the way other people can. And I have to tell you from a personal standpoint, I have a very unique business, um, mm -hmm. but I came in and it was the collaborations with other people that were tailored to me uniquely that right. really gave me the traction. So what I would say to other people is yeah. there aren't generic answers for you folks. Go in, talk to Sunil and let him tell you where the potential success stories and collaborations can come from. Yeah. People who are experts need honest, customized feedback. Not everybody is the same. If you think you're the same as everybody and someone's giving you a, a canned, out of the can kind of marketing deal, it's probably not going to work with you and not probably going to honor who you are as an expert with your, you know, if you've got like, especially if you've got like 10, 15 years of experience, you're at a much higher level than most other people are. So you can't market like most other people. You've got to find your strength, position that, and then find the right audience for it and then use the platforms to go for it, you know? Uh, so, yeah, if you're, you know, if, if you're in that space, no matter what industry you're in, even if you've got a year and a half under you, I don't care so much about the size of your database or even the length of experience yeah. you've had. It, it doesn't matter. It's really the willingness to collaborate and to commit doing it. That's what I'm more interested in. Yeah. And get into the minds of a group of masterminds who are uh, like-minded, experienced, and can genuinely help you. Thanks, Sunil. Hey, you are welcome. Thank you for the opportunity to share.